people ask me, well, do all these cars run? And I say, yes, they all run, but I'm not sure that they all stop. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lenny. I grew up in Brooklyn. I live in Park Slope at this point. And I am a super fan of collecting vintage cars, mostly because of the odd way that they look and because of the fact that I love fixing them. I now have 66 cars in my collection dating back to 1912. My collection is definitely a representative of cars from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, and slightly into the 60s. These are more like everyday cars that you would have seen on the streets when you were growing up in a specific era. The most I actually ever spent for a car is $18,000. And I feel that I put together a, a very nice collection on a shoestring. Yeah, you know, I bought this ice cream truck about 20 years ago. And this was a actual Brooklyn route truck when Guyuma ran these trucks in different areas around Brooklyn and sold ice cream to kids on the street. You know, they'd ring the bells. This is the car that was in the uh, music video, The Love Shack by the B-52s. It's a 1965 Chrysler 300 with a 383 V8 engine. The Mets is the oldest car by choice because I wanted one car pre-1915. Keep in mind, this car is now 107 years old. That's a 1924 star. This is a 1979 Checker Cab, the 1947 KB6 International, a 1953 American LaFrance fire truck. You know, I'm standing next to a uh, 1961 Messerschmitt, which was made in Germany. And this was my grandmother's car. She bought it new in January of 1936. I still have the bill of sale. Walk this way, that's the old saying goes. <laughs> the old comics. So we're about to enter my parts room. And uh, what's in this room is again invaluable. Many of the things I realized I could do with my own hands. And that's really when I, I, I got the interest of working on the cars. Having a collection makes me appreciate the history of cars, more so than the cars themselves. The intrinsic value of these cars is that they're totally different from cars of today, and it's a piece of history. That fascinates me. In Brooklyn, we have a club of which I am the president. It's the Antique Automobile Association of Brooklyn Incorporated. When we have meetings, people just love talking about the hobby. Along with having a club comes uh, community involvement. Uh, we just did a Halloween parade toward East New York on Pitkin Avenue. And that's really giving back because the spectators love seeing these cars. You need a tremendous amount of patience to work on these cars. Sometimes you just can't figure out how to do something on one of these cars. But, but if you're persistent and you get something fixed on one of these cars and then you drive it around the block, it's a fabulous feeling to know that you've done that with your own hands. It's a wrap. <laughs>